The most common injuries that we see in pediatric medicine are typically sports-related injuries. There are fractures, sprains, strains, uh, dislocations. There's some overuse injuries, and we treat those on case-by-case -case basis. If there's swelling, then a trip to the emergency room would be advisable. A concussion is a bump or jolt to the head or the body that causes an injury to the brain that's not necessarily detected on CAT scan or MRI or any other imaging modalities. Common symptoms of concussion are headache, dizziness, difficulty focusing or concentrating, difficulty sleeping, trouble with emotions such as feeling more sad than usual, difficulty uh, controlling irritability, and also balance problems and some mild nausea. As a parent or a coach, the best way to prevent injuries is to identify that there might have been an injury before and make sure that they're following the doctor's orders. The typical cases that I see in the office with children are kids who perhaps had been playing in a sporting game, um, either soccer or football or really any kind of sport, who perhaps had some sort of hit where they got knocked on the ground. And then soon after the game, they started getting worsening headache, difficulty concentrating, maybe they're more fatigued. I also see some kids who are just playing outside and were riding their bike and fell over and you know, all of a sudden they're starting to get headaches or difficulty concentrating. The biggest thing for treating concussions is really supporting and educating the parents and the kid. It's important to have what's called cognitive rest, basically letting them do things that don't exacerbate their symptoms. Children are not little adults, and especially pediatric orthopedically speaking, they can't be treated as such. So one of the fun parts about my job is that I also get to help support the community by volunteering to work on the sidelines of football games and also wrestling matches in the area, which do require a physician to be present at these events. I've run 10 marathons. The college coaches and high school coaches that I had felt that if you had a high level of fitness, you do well both on and off the courts. That really gave me a fitness for life mentality. I think children really need to feel that they're being heard and being supported. Uh, as well as the parents are being heard and supported. Um, really when you're treating kids, you're sort of treating the parent and the child as well. 